everybody, welcome to 3D Archery. All right, summertime, about 95 degrees out today, Fahrenheit here in New York. And I'm getting ready for my Hudson Valley Stream Archery Challenge. And I always wanted to build for it was the floating ping pong ball. There's one or two uh, tutorials on YouTube about it, but it's pretty simple, and I thought I'd show you one. Now, I'm doing mine with no money spent. I'm just using the stuff for head around the house. I had a leaf blower, I got some PVC, and I got some scrap wood and a couple brackets and things like that but it's pretty simple all right so what we're gonna do is I'll take apart this is just tested we'll show you the parts you're gonna need we'll take it from there and I'm telling you what this is pretty easy and it's gonna be a lot of fun to shoot all right everybody let's talk about some of the stuff you're gonna need first thing you're gonna need is a leaf blower I mean, you can get them from any price used a yard sale anywhere I mean all over the place it depends on how much you want to spend if you want to use it I'm going to use it for this, and I'm going to go back using it in my yard. Mine's a uh, home light. It has two speeds. It's electric, by the way, just so you know. Um, it says quiet, 120 miles per hour, powerful, 150. So, let's you hear the 120, which you heard in the intro. 120! So it's pretty simple, right? Now when you buy it, it comes with this. So you can um, leave this on or take it off. It's up to you. The thing you gotta notice, you gotta notice, this is where it sucks the air in is on the bottom. So we just, you don't wanna leave it on the ground. You wanna have it raised up the ground and you wanna have it slightly protected, all right? So little things to look at is how you're gonna take the air in. So you know what you're gonna put on so it doesn't get cluttered up. So we got some options about how to mount the tubes and that's what we'll go over next. When I first looked at it, I thought I was just going to leave this attached onto it and just stick this through it. And as you can see, it doesn't make it. But being plastic, guess what? It'll fit right through. But I just really didn't want this long. I wanted to keep it a little smaller because I don't want this device to be that huge. So I'm going to stick with PVC. And the only reason I'm using this is I got plenty of it. And this is an um, inch and a half, I believe. Yep inch and a half PVC. I'm sorry, one inch PVC. It's one inch PVC. All right, and it's pretty simple. So the first thing I got to do, so I look at it, I had to make a cover because I mean, obviously, right, that's not good. So what I did for my cover is pretty simple. I mean, I'm not trying to make this thing fantastic. I took some particle board, two brackets, and some screws. And I will tell you, when I first made it, it was pretty simple. Um, I used a drill the first time, but this time I'm going to use my screwdriver. Once you got it lined up to where you want it, your brackets, you just use your power drill and um, some screws, and she goes right in. Now, the one thing you got to remember in any of this is um, it's going to bleed air. I don't care what you do, it's going to bleed air. So I did it without it, and you know what? It didn't look like it made a difference. So if you want to do it, you can tape it up, seal it up. If you seal it with something, remember, you may not be able to use it again. Um, my yard has no trees, but all my neighbors have them, so i got to blow their trees out of my yard. So that's your next step. So step one is just to get a leaf blower. Step two is to figure out how you're going to attach the PVC pipe. The piping to it, right? So we got that. And there we go. Now it's covered up. Now the next thing you got to think about is remember on this one, I don't want it to lay on the ground. So I took a piece of wood that's going to cover the ground. I put two blocks on it, and now it sits up off the ground. And I'm going to put the board here in front of it protect it right put this here and it'll be stuck through so there it is it's pretty simple so our next step is to build a base once you get your base built make sure your um, blower is fairly level then we got to secure it because I mean somebody might kick it it might move and get knocked around all different types of things can happen to your base so how are we going to secure it well there's all different ways I could use rope rubber bands wire, all that. What I'm going to use, I'm just going to put two screws in, wrap some wire around it, 
and it should be held in place. So that's what we're going to do up next. I got my screws in. Not that hard actually, you know. There we go. Now get my wire cutter or uh, you don't know, I think I have it here. Alright, get a pair of needle nose pliers, wire, and then go to town. So I'm gonna just take it. Give myself plenty of room. Wrap it around a couple times. Bring it up. Over. Try to keep some good tension on it. Left the right way, being left handed. <laughs> it's okay. Sam's warfare is everywhere. You know where that one is? Let me know. Where that line is from. Alright. Get it. Pull it in tight. Cut a little bit. Wrap it around. And there we go. The front's not going to move much. Again, all you're going to do is repeat the process in the back, right? We're just going to wrap it around. Bring it up. Over. I'm going to give myself plenty of room. Get it tight. Let's go the right way this time. Damn, being left handed sucks. There we go. Got it in once, wrap it around twice, that's this trick. Use your needle nose, that's what they're there for. Alright. Not perfectly in place, but it's secured. One more step down. Now what we're going to do is simply attach this, this is not hard. Now one thing you're going to notice about the tube, when I get it in, the more you get it in, the more it's going to wear out and it's going to start dipping. So I'll bring back a little bit and show you. You know what, it doesn't really matter, this doesn't have to be perfectly level, but being an anal retentive person that I am, it has to be. So our next step is, let's secure this baby, so this doesn't move around so much. Alright, looking around my different pieces of wood, I'd have to stack and play a little bit, but I found this end cap for my one inch PVC. Now it's just a tad bit too high. All right, This isn't at the perfect angle but it's at a good angle. All right? But what we're going to do is, I'm gonna, and it's rounded so it slips off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sander and I'm going to sand this baby flat and make it so it doesn't move as much. Then I'm going to again put two screws in it and secure it with wire. Alright I sanded it down. I took the, the arm off just to look at it, but you know it came out better than I thought. Just just by eyeballing it, that looks pretty vertical. That's why God made levels. Right there, so that's good. So you know what? I don't want this to move a whole lot. I don't know about tightness. So what I think I'm going to do is use some five-minute epoxy on it, and that's your cure. So this will just. You know, naturally be stuck on there. I could probably even put a screw in it. But I'm going to go with the epoxy. So we had to secure this somehow, right? This is always going to pop out. I, I planned for that. You know, I want to take it apart and be able to move it. So I could make this and this permanently in here, which I think I'm going to do. You know, let's do that. I'm going to epoxy this into here and this on here, and then to transport it, all I'm going to do is remove this off. So that's my next step. we got to get some epoxy 
and then we'll epoxy it. Normally I'd tell you to wear gloves, but I'm too lazy to go in my basement and get them. Don't need a whole lot. Oh yeah, because it's 95 out, the epoxy is like real liquid. Normally the, like the resin is a little stiff. So mix it up. And then apply it to that section if you want. Now let's apply it underneath. You know what? Probably easier if I just put this. Take this out. Epoxy on here. Give me plenty of it. There we go. Epoxy on both. You can let that dry for five minutes. Then we're going to come back and move on. All right, everybody, epoxy's dried. This is now secured. It ain't going nowhere. It's not going to dip on me or anything like that. So we got that done. Now, if you're like me, and what that means is that old hee haw thing, you know, if it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. I set this out, some jerkwad's going to shoot it. So we got to build something to protect it and also stop the wind from affecting it so much if there's a large crosswind or anything like that. If it blows this way, well, I could probably secure it that way too. That's down the road. So, got to put a piece of wood on there, and how am I going to do it, right? Well, simple answer I had laying around in my house, bookshelves. I'm going to take the longer part of it and just set it like that, okay? Pretty simple, right? Just to secure them in place, one more step down. I'm going to line it up with the back, not too worried. There you go, get that. Now, make sure my front's level because that's what you're probably saying. Greg, how are you going to keep it level? Test piece. There we go. Secure the next two. There we go. There's one. Good. See so you the next one, and we got that done. Then all we got to do is make the front. Now, for my event, like I said, I want my ball up about five feet in the air. So my wood's going to have to be fairly high, right? And I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it black just to match the background. Because where I'm planning, I put in it is against a black background. I don't want no distractions for the people. And I also want the wood cut underneath enough so if they do miss, the low shots will go underneath it and not hit the wood not beating on my poor display. All right, so I'm going to attach this one. I got my wood over here. I'm going to cut it, paint it, and then we'll attach it to it, and we should be good to go. All right, everybody, here we are, final step. Yep, a couple days down the road after I was working on it, but I just stopped working, uh, had no problems. All built together. i tell you one neat little thing is uh, using that. Carried around, I just grabbed by the handle. Makes it real easy to carry. So. How high up you make, it's totally up to you. Most people have it low, but remember, I want mine up high. So my board, with that in mind, is going to be much higher. So our last steps are real simple. What are we going to do? I'm going to mount the board, put it in my tube, and then we're going to go out and test it.
All right, everybody, you see it there? It's flying pretty good. Size ball. Um, any crosswind does mess it up. All right. Now I'm going to show you what happens with a ping pong ball. Found something interesting. So watch what happens when I put a ping pong ball up on there. So as you can see, the ping pong balls aren't working right now. One thing. These do have print on them. I don't know if that's throwing the weight off, so they're not perfectly balanced. But you know what? The bigger balls work better because now we can shoot them at a farther distance, all right? And up next, I'll show you me shooting it at 25 yards. And here she is, pretty simple, right? PVC, PVC, and that. Now, a couple people I know told me to, if I cut it down a little bit and I put like a soda bottle or something with a V to create a Venturi, it might help it. But you know what? On those large balls, it's been out here where I was playing with it, I'd set it up. I'd have to walk 25 plus yards to get out to where I was shooting. I'd miss, I'd come back, get my arrow. So, and it stayed up there the most of the time. Now, wind will be a problem. Indoors, it's not going to affect it at all. All right, so there you have it. Pretty simple little thing. Uh, actually, cost me nothing because everything I had it was laying around my house. All right, so there you have. It. If you want to make a floating ping pong ball, there's a quick guide, give you some ideas on how to do it. It's a very simple build, and it's going to give you hours and hours of fun. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time with an all-new episode, 3D Archer.